Hello everyone and guten tag. My name is Dirk Eva and due to a lot of recent requests, I've decided to make a guide on how to find, open and use the net status log for GTFO. This log is commonly used to find information in advance to make speed running the levels easier. So, how do you find and open the logs? You go on your Windows search bar, type in percent app data percent, then you'll go back from roaming to app data, go into local low, 10 chambers collective, GTFO, and then you will see a ton of logs. You'll want to order it by your most recent date, and then you will see the GTFO, whatever date you open it, nickname net status. This is the log you want to use. I would heavily recommend using Notepad++ for this though, because otherwise you'll have to close and reopen it every time you do a drop, which gets tedious at times. With Notepad++, it immediately tells you when you have an update when you go into it, and it just makes everything easier. The only issue is if you close the game, you'll also have to close and open another log, but you don't close the game that often. So we would open the log file. If you use Notepad++, it would look like this and go into your control F to search for terms. First, you want to put the X away down here. Because if you don't, you're just going to loop around and get back to the beginning instead of staying at the lowest, most recent information you want to find. There's a lot of terms you want to search for, or well, there's some terms, let's just say it like that. There is RI colon, which we use to find key box IDs. We can rust reference with maps. There is area colon, which we use for HSU rooms. We can't find out the exact location of an HSU if there's multiple in a room, but this helps a lot already. And then something we have a bit of issue using is the seat number, because there's a lot of them. You probably want to have people help with you or get a program or something to check for it. So as an example, I went into Rundown 1 A1. I'm going to search for the key. This shows me first the zone number of the key. If there's multiple, this is already quite helpful. For example, in our R7A1, there's two zones it's, it can spawn in, so you can know in advance where it goes into, and it tells me RI8. I can check this on the map we made in advance and see the key location here. You need to know the map at least somewhat to know where it actually is just off the map position, but usually it's quite indicative. For example, those keys in room B being around the corner. So next, I went into Rundown 1 B2 to first talk about having multiple keys in the level and HSUs. So here we can see that we have three keys right now. The first key is quite simply not important. It's the key for the resource zone, so we can ignore that. We know that due to the zone it shows when we go to the key. See, it's zone, like the key is in zone 18. That is the key you always find for that resource zone. The others are either in 22 or 23. Both can be in the same, both can be different ones. This time we have both in 23. So we want to know which is the key we need. We can find that out by looking for the area. This is a tad more complicated than just the key ID. It tells you the zone, so we know, okay, it's zone 21. And then it tells you area, a number, and then area B. This is something we cross-reference, for example, for this level, there's only one area, so area 16B would be room C. Something which is quite neat is that the lower, or the higher number, rather, of those two zones is usually the lower position for the keys. So the second key is for zone 20, the third key is for zone 21. We would have the key in zone 23, number 31 right now, which is something we can check, and it's over here. Last but not least, I went into Rundown 1B1, which has a lot of IDs. Let me just get that, actually. This is where it gets complicated. You need to find 12 IDs, and there's 18 spawning, with a lot of different seats for them. You can see there's a lot of numbers here. Just an example, these are all the seeds and 
their IDs you can find, they usually spawn in the same box. So like if you have two of the same kind, they will always spawn in, in a box. It's always the same ID for or seed number for these boxes. So you use this information usually in, in, in tandem with the script or whatever you want to use, or as we did multiple people checking three each, which is still quite a lot of work. And then check into the map, oh, mistake, to find what you what you need from it. So this is pretty much it. You just gotta open the net status log once you've opened the game, and then when you're dropping, the moment you've skipped the intro, just immediately look up the new ID or whatever you want to find, and look it up on the map, cross-reference if you want to run that, and you're good.